Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm my Luscious Female Fan, Steve Malicious, here with the Nokia Lumia 900 in this wonderful blue, a fun Windows Mobile 7.5 phone from 2012. We're going to take a look at it, but because it's been so long since my last Windows phone video, I feel like I need to make it up to you. So that's not all the fun that we have planned for today. I'm also going to unbox a new open box one of these, but instead of the blue, that one will be the pink model. So don't go away. We're going to look at it. We're going to talk about Windows Mobile 7.5 and the Nokia Lumia 900, his and hers, today on this edition of Steve Alicia's Tech. And we're back as always. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers up over 2,440 as of the taping of this video. If you're loving the Windows phone stuff, new phones, old phones, technology, whatever it happens to be, go ahead and give that subscribe button a tussle. It certainly means a lot to me. So the Nokia Lumia 900. Lots going on here. We're going to have a little fun with it. And this is the first, the first time you see this unboxed on camera is the first time I will be seeing it in person. I saw the pictures on eBay, but they had the plastic film still on them. So this will be the first time I am seeing the pink color in person. So let's dive right in. The Nokia Lumia 900 in pink. We got the blue, fantastic color. Look at that. Just the richness. And it does show up on camera. It is that vibrant, which is fantastic. I love that that Nokia was doing that back in the day. It's a shame you don't really see it. Quick start guide, there it is, right there, right on top. Oh, let's go ahead and peel that off. Oh, it doesn't disappoint, and it still has the little tab for the camera as well. So we'll go ahead and pull that off. Oh, the Carl Zeiss lens. That does not disappoint at all, that textured feel to it. A little bit of a texture to the plastic, nice and fresh. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Such a cool device. Peel that off. We'll set that to the side because this one we're not going to be able to use. This one's going to have no battery left because I did get this. The reason why I trust that this is open box unused is because I bought this one first from the same seller and it came and it was actually checked out. So I'm, I'm happy that these are a uh, seller from within the United States. A lot of times that's a challenge when they're selling them new on eBay. They're actually refurbished and used. Okay. Quick tip for those who still need a quick tip on a eight-year-old device. But this actually does apply to us because if you're just pulling this, if you see this video, I see, geez, I missed that phone. Let me pull it out of a drawer. Let me go get it out of the basement or whatever it happens to be. And it's stone dead. You need this charger. And it's a good thing they came new and I had one on hand. You need the charger that came with it. And I believe this is the same on the Nokia 1020 as well. If you plug this into a regular micro USB when it's flat dead, you will get what looks like appears to be a boot loop, but it's not. The capacitive buttons will light up. You'll have a situation where the screen will light up. You'll see the battery symbol flash, and then it'll go dead. It'll just do it over and over and over again while it's plugged in. You might think you might download the Nokia companion software, try to reflash it. Whatever you try to do with it, that's not the case, even though the symptoms are very much like a boot loop. If you plug it into this, the actual, they call it fast, you know, fast charger for the Nokia Lumia micro USB, it'll work. It keeps it, or at least it gives it enough power to boot, but at the same time maintain the charge so it doesn't have that cycle where it just, just gets barely enough to light the buttons up and start and then immediately run out of power and then crash down. But this is running Windows 7.5 Mango which is basically going to be the highlight of the video today because that's essentially what the downfall of this device is, and that's really the shame. This came out kind of early 2012. We'll go over the specs on it. The one thing that is phenomenal, and which is something that I didn't even realize, I thought the AMOLED display was not until the 1020, but it has a beautiful AMOLED panel on it. And the contrast and the colors that you get strike you immediately immediately the brightness the depth of color the fact that you get the the dark theme back in 2012 to help you with battery life so 18 30 milliamp hours on the battery you had an s a snapdragon s2 in here half a gig of ram 16 gigs of storage 8 megapixel camera some decent stuff it's 480p display but like i said the amoled panel which is just absolutely gorgeous even today the downfall of this one 
and the shame is that 7.5 and i tr listen as far as usability in 2021 i tried and you know if you've been here long enough you understand if someone's going to get use out of these it's me if so i'm going to try i'm going to sit there we lit candles we got the ouija board out we got uh we made sacrifices my wife is still cleaning up we tried everything we could to try to get some additional usability out of this but unfortunately i'm gonna say if you put a sim in it it's 4g lte which makes it all the more shame you're gonna be limited to text and not even group messaging okay i wouldn't risk mms or anything like that depending on your carrier a lot of this stuff is carrier specific and depending on the country what features they still support on these older devices but here in the united states on at&t text phone calls email and light web browsing and i i emphasize light web browsing because the default and you can change this look at espn look at espn.com okay remember that the default is for it to go to the mobile site you could change it to the desktop site but even when you do that and you try to load up something with i don't know three kilobytes of pictures it completely just blanks and you get nothing so it, it's internet explorer 9 i believe it just can't handle it and if you look at this this is a mobile experience that you'd get circa your motorola q on, on windows mobile 5 from back in I, I don't know whatever year that was 1986 you're not getting a 2012 web experience on your nokia lumia 900 unfortunately and that co all comes back to 7.5 this came out at a weird time for Windows Phone. They were just starting to make that transition over to Windows 8. Now, there are some things that you can try to do to get a little bit more functionality out of this in 2021. There was an update because they didn't want people who bought these to just feel completely hosed and say, what the heck, I just bought this a year ago. Now you're telling me it's completely obsolete because you got Windows 8. So they released a version of this Windows 7.8 Tango over the air that gave you some of the framework of Windows 8 to kind of extend the life of this. But getting that today is rough. And the po the reason why, even just updating this to make it useful, you see that Xbox Live? It's not even Xbox Live, but just the live servers in general. Microsoft Live. The marketplace, the live marketplace. This used... For authentication and for the servers, the Microsoft Live servers, which are long gone. See, you can't get on the marketplace. You can't update it over the air, which you couldn't do anyway, but we'll talk to that in a second. What you had to do with these. Now, if you want to get 7.8 and you're okay, you're comfortable with downloading cab files and, 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 and uh, get registry stuff and flashing it and unlocking it and all that stuff, you can. You can if you could find it, but it's difficult. But as far as getting the official update, you're not going to be able to. You could download the Zune software, which is how these phones updated. You had the Zune software, which you could still download. And it'll still work phone to computer, meaning you could put music on this if you want. It's got a headphone jack, right? Micro USB on top. That's quite nice. You got the camera button on the side for the Nokia phones, which you liked. Big speaker grill on the bottom, which is nice sound. You could use this as kind of a music device that you wanted. Hook it up to the Zune software. But even if you get, if for update purposes, even if you get disconnected to the Zune software, there's nothing on the other end. The live servers are just gone forever. It's not like your old BlackBerry devices where you could still hook them up. And because BlackBerry services are still up, you could get updates and stuff even for the older OSs. You just can't. Windows Phone, unfortunately, is just flat gone when you're going past, when you're going further back than Windows 8. So Windows 7.5 extremely limited and it really is a shame because look at this look at this device look at these devices look at how fun they are the form factor is great small display i believe we're looking at yeah 4.3 inch display really nice in the hand fantastic feel to that plastic on the back the nice little touch of the metal band there showing off the camera i loved picking this up and it's a shame because you want to be able to at least get windows 8 those those web apps that i talked about in my Windows applications video, what still runs in 2020, you can't use them. You go to that website, and you can still pin stuff to start, which is nice if you do a lot of guess and test, and you sit there for hours, and you try to figure out what works. You can still pin stuff to start like you can with Microsoft Edge on your Windows 10 devices, but the problem is 
sometimes you could log into them sometimes you can't most of them just flat out don't work the windows apps for this and it's because of that crippled web experience that you get it really just isn't a full functioning browser at this point it can't handle it and it's a shame because i would love nothing more than to be able to carry these devices around i always carry at least two vintage devices on me at all times and i would absolutely love one of them to be these guys because it's just the color of the design the form factor is such a fun device so much fun a great phone great feel to it you really wish somebody would step up and do that again nokia perhaps come on somebody with the fun and vibrant colors besides apple that you got to pay 600 dollars to play with but overall i i wish i could come back and say that it would be a lot more useful and if all you need is a disconnect or a backup device knock yourself out right text phone email you'll be able to get by if you just need a base communication thing you know web is not that important to you but anything else you're going to be stuck and it really is because the microsoft live servers that transition it's unfortunate that this phone didn't come out a year later to support windows 8 and get all the stuff that you could still do today even though it's not a lot you'd still be able to carry it in your pocket like the lumia 1020 if it were running windows 8 but unfortunately i can't recommend it at 7.5 the Zune servers, are, uh, the Zune software is there. It'll connect. You could upload music. You could change the name of the phone, which I did, but you're just not going to get connected to the servers because they don't exist anymore. If you're still using your Lo uh, Nokia Lumia 900, if you love it, go ahead and let me know below in the comments section if you've made it this far. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, keep those Windows phones alive and have that Steve Delicious day.